guys, I feel, ugh. Okay, guys, I feel really bad. So, like, I've been doing some shopping, as you guys may be able to see right here. These two lovely bags. Yes, there's two bags. <laughs> and I haven't filmed. So I was going to film and show you guys what's been going on, but it was quick um, stuff. Uh, also, remind me to tell my sloth group to uh, check out Michael's, because I just bought something Michael's. Uh, but I'll do guys a haul video for you guys. There's also um, something a little bit different than a haul video. So there's been an item that has been headline controversy. And of course, I had to buy one. GameStop has them. I'll tell you guys all about that later. Uh, but yeah, so I'll probably do a whole video just in this video. I don't know. We'll see how much it film at the next door, which is over here. Why am I going this way? I just remembered. I've gotten so lost. I haven't been down here enough that I just forgot which store I was going to next. Whoops. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll show you guys what I got, and hopefully I'll film in the next store if I remember to actually film. But uh, we're going to have some fun. Because yay, why not? Um, but yeah, so poor uh, Michael's, Michael's Craft Store is dealing with some kind of fun, and um, yeah, they're like, please tell me you have cash. It's like, well, of course. And in fact, I heard that it happening, so I, you know, made sure that I did have enough cash to cover what I was buying. So, yay! <laughs> but this is all Michael's that's having this fun, so. But anyway, I will show you guys my haul uh, when I get home. And who knows what else is going to happen today. I really have no idea. It's kind of one of those just run around and have fun days. Because I can't. Okay, so here's Five and Below. We got Lion King party stuff and Toy Story party stuff. What year is this? Oh my god, it's Lion King and Toy Story. What? what? Mm. Alright, this is another PSA. First of all, yes, I just saw yet again people not wanting to stop for an ambulance. How nice. Um, however, another PSA, um, one that I have talked about many times in person to friends and stuff, but, um, if you work in the public, period, um, don't do stupid shit while you're wearing uniform, have your name tag on, anything that identifies you, um, to your job. Most importantly, if you work at a food industry company, um, be it a restaurant, even a grocery store, you work where there's food, ma'am, do not, dear God, do not let your pants sag when you are in public walking home. Because, yeah, you now made the, I think, fifth strike on your restaurant, and now I never, ever, one food from that establishment. Yes, so there is a restaurant just down the street here that I have walked in three, four times now and have yet to actually eat there because I have walked out after several minutes of no service, no anything, no acknowledgement. So, just now, I saw one of their workers. I'm guessing he just left work. He's got a cup tray full of, you know, milkshakes from their establishment. And his pants are sagging to the point that I know he wears boxer briefs. Yeah. Oh, by the way, did I mention he's talking really loud on his phone while walking really fast up behind me? Yeah. So, I will never be going to that establishment. And, uh, yeah. But yeah, no really, don't be an a-hole or don't be any kind of bad when you're wearing your work uniform. But especially if you work in the food industry, don't look nasty when you're on public or at work for that matter. Sorry, yay, bugs fly in my face. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys more about that when I get inside and when there's not traffic coming at me. Yay! Alright guys, so as you saw me do some shopping. And I went to three different stores to do said shopping. And now I'm going to show you what I got at those three stores. Um, so, uh, first we're going to start off with a lovely store of Five Below. That's right. The lovely Five Below. I uh, probably showed you guys some stuff from there before. I know I did at least one haul video when I went to North Carolina. 
Um, but one of the cool things I've got there recently was a ring light. There's one of those little ring lights put on your phone. But now I've got this bad boy. So it is an iCover Smart Tech Selfie Studio Mini Smartphone Tripod with Selfie Ring Light. Fits most smartphones. Uh, so, you know, that doesn't look very ringy like classic ones you, you've seen actually straight up ring. So, yeah, very different. But it's got your basic uh, holder there. So it's got that baby. Isn't it cute? Isn't it adorable? There's the little spot where it hooks on. And the part where it actually hooks on too. Or I can even put it onto this tripod. But then there's the tripod party. Little space pod looking thing here. And there's the actual part where it goes on. Yeah, here's the fun part, kids. Okay, so I'm sorry I blinded you guys, but so, um, I'm not sure exactly. I, I probably will film and put this on here and just kind of use it more like a handheld, because uh, unfortunately I have not been able to figure out a way to put this on to here just yet. Watch me actually figure it out. So, um, like I said, I'll probably do different things with that. I'm mostly using it as a tripod and probably using my phone with it. We'll see. My favorite thing that I got at Five Below was, if you guys know, I've mentioned now that I work in an aquarium, um, but I, especially since back in the day of Charlie the Unicorn, I have been obsessed with narwhals. And, because, I mean, they are the unicorns of the sea. And, um, just to go with it, Five Below brought us these! Yes, those are adorable narwhal pink and blue pins. So here's your classic pen back, back there. But yeah, so two of these lovely little narwhal pins. I got them, it was uh, $3 for the two of them. So that is why Five Below is so awesome. Find your nearest one or uh, go to their website. I'm sure I'll put the link down below. Also, I should mention, none of these stores are sponsored. I wish. Five Below, you guys want to call me? The other two companies want to call me? Yeah. That would be awesome. <clears throat> One of the other things I got at Five Below, uh, they're doing clearance of their, like, graduation stuff now that most schools are getting ready to hit graduation point. Uh, they have these lovely babies. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if you see. I think you can see that. Uh, oh, by the way, do not microwave. So these are just your basic uh, treat boxes, as it says literally right there. Uh, they have them for 50 cents. I got four of them, so there's eight count, eight times four, I'm not doing the math for you, um, but yeah, so we're going to have a bunch of those, don't know what I'm going to use them for just yet, who knows, I might have a party down the road, we'll see, um, and those, yes, were 50 cents each, now guys, I you can see this, but, um, this is a really big poster, the poster frame I have is too small for this for poster, so, unfortunately, I cannot put it in a frame just yet, but, kids, I don't know how well you guys can see that. Let me hold it away back here. Can you see it? Oh, it is so scratched up and I don't know why. I just bought it. But yeah, that is, kids, the Scooby Natural, Supernatural Scooby-Doo episode crossover poster. You heard me. Scooby Natural poster. Five dollars at five below. Um, I yeah, I don't know if you guys can see like right there. I guess it got bent at some point. Don't know when that happened. Should have checked that before I bought it. So, oh well, I don't have those little bee scratches on it. But Hillywood, this is for you. I bought this. Um, you guys don't know, and I'll probably talk about more eventually. Um, there's you know, girls Hillywood. You guys know I've talked about Hillywood. Uh, their Supernatural parodies are what got me to watching Supernatural. So, anything I can, you know, do to support Supernatural and the girls, which I'm on their Patreon, of course I'm going to do that. So, I'm going to get this in a frame, and I'll, uh, show you guys that later. I'm down the road. I might end up putting it back here, because we need to get something back here. Um, besides my lovely painting back here. I keep saying back here. Why do I keep saying back here? I don't know. But anyway, so, um... Once I get the, that framed up, I probably will put it on the wall. One of the other things 
at, yes, it's five dollars. One of the other things, the five below, I totally forgot they even had, but I'm very, 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 very happy they had because I've been able to see this since, um, whether well, they have these at, at World Market, if you guys have heard me talk about World Market, I talk, used to, you know, go there a lot, but this lovely thing, oh, Ramoon, yeah, Ramoon, Ramoon drink, this one is like the, just carbonated, um, as far as I know, like this one's just, water. It's just water flavored. Uh, there's not much to it. Uh, I'm actually not going to open this one just yet. I am going to actually open the other one because I did end up getting two. Yeah. Um, I got the, the like, neutral flavor and the strawberry flavor one. I love this one. Uh, so... I find it interesting. Sorry. I just noticed the best before has no date. It just says month, 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 day, day, year, year. Oh, okay. There's the date. Okay. I guess it's for the people who, like, in Europe, they flip the day to month. Ooh, caution to that. Um, but yeah. So, I think later on, I might, um, use my lovely new tripod and throw things on the floor. And for the five of you out there who do not know how to open a Ramon, I will show you how to do that. Um, I mean, really, the directions are written... Right there. If you don't can't figure it out after reading those, I can't help you. But I'll show you how it's done here in just a bit. Um, and that's all I got at Five Below. The lovely and oh by the way, if you guys don't know the concept of Five Below, here it is. Everything is a dollar to five dollars. That's it. Uh, if you go to their website, there are a few things they've added now. They think go up to fifteen dollars. But, in store, it is either one or five dollars, or obviously, they just some clearance stuff, 50 cents. So, you guys, definitely check them out if you find one nearest you, or, like I said, go to their website. Um, so, for my next store, I went to Michael's, which, oh, by the way, in case you guys didn't notice, all three of these stores are right there inside um, Largo Mall. So I showed you guys, you know, I mean, they're within walking distance of each other, obviously. Um, so I just kind of was walking around with Largo Mall. These were the stores I mainly wanted to hit. Because there was stores, stuff at those stores I wanted to check out or hopefully buy. And there's a reason I'm leaving this last one for last. This is the second store. So at Michael's, I bought technically one item four times. So I just went over there because if you guys know, I've been doing a lot of painting stuff. My mom found these uh, acrylic paint jars. However, I found out acrylic paint is really weird. You really do need to have that gesso and gesso and prime the. Pa I don't get it. So I'm probably just gonna use it as an accent paint. But I went there to see how much gesso was. It's expensive. That's how much gesso is. Um, so instead, I just happened to stop by one of the little clearance sections and found this. That is, if you guys can't tell. Those are iron-on designs of sloth. So, yes, I got four of these. But here's the great thing. I love this, and I don't know how this ended up happening. Um, by the way, shout out to the Largo Mall. Uh, Michael's, they ended up having a technical difficulty. Their, like, well, entire Michael's system debit readers went down. So, and they handled it like troopers. And I plan on filling up the survey and letting them know how well it was. But these bad boys, these lovely iron, you know, signs, um, were on clearance for $1. forty-seven. And now right now they have iron on and cricket stuff on sale. Buy one, get one half off, excluding clearance. So I figured I'd pay about six bucks. But if you guys look right here, yes, I still end up getting the buy one, get one half off. So I paid a dollar forty-seven for one. Then it took 74 cents off. Alright, yeah, I paid $1.47 and then I paid 73 cents for the next one. And then I paid $1.47 and then 73 cents for the next one. I only spent a whopping, uh, yeah, four seventy one for those four. So I only really spent like a dollar each. They used to be three ninety nine. Then they had them marked down to clearance half off for one forty seven. 
Then somehow I got the sale price of buy one get one half off, so I ended up getting pretty much one of them for free. And even, even more so, so technically I got three of them for free, because they're originally four dollars for one. So, yes please. Uh, so shout out to Michaels. Again, not a sponsor, but if you guys want to sponsor me, because I'm starting my new life of painting, um, that would be awesome. So, the main thing that I went out for was to go to GameStop and buy something, but, actually, I, I, I found what I was looking for, so, there's that. But it was a bit lovely GameStop, and, you know, went in there, and they said they got a huge, uh, stuff on clearance right now, and I was like, okay, I'll take a look at it. Right now, their Funko Pops are nine dollars, their socks are two for five, and the hat are for five dollars. And I was like, okay, you know, look at hats. I've only got really right now one hat and uh, sorry, I just looked at the clearance tag of how much it was before that. Um, so I've only really got one hat that I've used and I've been kind of looking for another one and I couldn't walk away from this one. Especially if you guys don't already know, the guy who originally played Chewbacca uh, just recently passed, Peter Mayhew. So I'm like, how can I pass a Chewbacca hat? I mean, come on. I mean, it's, it's chewy. How could I, I walk away from chewy? So, yeah, $5. And by the way, I just want to know, and I don't know how much it was originally, but they had then marked it down to 13 And I just bought it for 5 I mean, make sure I bought it for 5 Yes. Oh, it's foam. So, uh, yeah, I got a light, nice hat from the GameStop for $5. And, of course, I had to buy, well, I was looking at the Funko Pop stuff from TV shows I've never heard of, movies I don't care about, cartoons I'm mad about, and then I was kind of looking, there was a center line, I'm like, hmm, so I was moving the stuff on top of it, and I see this, and I'm like, you know what, that kind of looks like Leonardo DiCaprio. Yo, it is, it is his Funko Pop from Romeo and Juliet. This is Romeo, Romeo. So, yes, they made a Funko Pop from Leonardo DiCaprio's Romeo and Juliet. Let me tell you guys, I literally was just talking about this movie yesterday, about how much I've been a Leonardo DiCaprio fan since Romeo and Juliet and Gilbert Grape and all that. I was literally talking about it yesterday, and then, bam, here is my gorgeous Romeo right here in a Funko Pop for $9. So... How could I say no to Romeo? I mean, come on. Look at him. He's so cute. So, uh, eventually, I guess so, uh, maybe before the mobile house, I had a bunch of stuff, and I'm hoping to get more out, um, get my stuff back up and organized, and hopefully we'll get my fungal pots out and decorated. Now, before I show this next item, I'm looking to put a caution um, for this next scene. Um... Shall we say if there are any kids in the room, or if you're, you know, prudish, you might not want to see this item. Now, it's not an adult item, but it's been called an adult item. Um, it has actually been a thing of controversy and uh, hot, I would say hot topic, but not hot topics, GameStop. Um, but it's been a, a, a talk lately, and I just, like, I wanted to see what this thing was. So, yes, I ended up buying one of these. Um, so also no hate in the comments if anybody posts anything, saying anything rude or disgusting about this item, you will be deleted and blocked. So if you guys haven't heard, I might put a link down below. This item right here, Oddities Food Fusion, has been a topic of discussion lately. And when I open this, and you probably get an idea already if you look at kind of what this is, and it's very squishy. You might get an idea of why um, parents were outraged. So there was a mother who bought one of these for her kids. Now, mind you, I just want to say, the, the, all the articles say that the mother bought one of these for her kid at Walgreens. I have yet to find these at Walgreens. In fact, GameStop is the only company right now that I can find these at. So, um, take that what you will. I don't think that... There was really a mother who had this thing about these. I think they were trying to cause a controversy to get people like me to buy them to do videos like this. So again, if you haven't seen the article or heard anything about 
these things, you're going to find out why <laughs> these things are a controversial item. And I just kind of want to see for myself if it really looks as bad as all the pictures say they do. So, it starts off, it's like, oh, it starts off being stuck to the package. And, like I said, it's very sticky. You guys can kind of tell. It's sticky and gooey and gummy and stuff. Now, it's supposed to stay wrapped. But, so, it's like one of those surprise things, like every other surprise thingy out there. Um, you're supposed to unpeel it and find which one you get. So, you peel it. Oh. And find. Now, this one actually doesn't look as bad as some of the other ones I've seen out there. So does it actually like stay in it? Looks like it is attached. Yeah, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, so it is attached to the peel there. But so, um, again, you you might get an idea of the fact that it kind of looks like a elongated um, orange. And by the way, it is very gooey, very lump. So, um, can you guys get why parents were outraged by this item yet? Have you figured it out yet? Yeah, so there is actually ones, and again, I might put the link below, or I might put some of the pictures above, or somewhere on the screen. Um, there are some that are like peas, or one looks like a caterpillar, so it's like this, and it's got bulbs on it. There's one that looks like a corn stalk, um, and then there's like, there's actually one that looks more banana-y, and very, um, pinkish. Yeah, so apparently a lot of parents were like, you know, I bought this for my kid to play with, and I pretty much just bought my kid a dildo. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, thankfully I don't have any monetization to lose, so I can say what I want. Um, but yeah, and like, it's very sticky, as you guys saw how much I had getting it out of the package. Um, inside's not so sticky, so I don't know why the peeling has to be so sticky, but, yeah. So, um... There's that. So, yes, I am buying it. And they're at GameStop for $6 if you guys want to see for yourself what it, this is all about. Um, if you use it for other purposes, please, dear God, don't tell me. Um, and again, if you're a child, definitely do not buy it without your parents' permission. Uh, or you didn't hear it from me. So, yeah, so that's what I bought, you guys. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to see what these were about. Like, so if you guys see, like, that one right there and that one right there. And especially with the fact that the use of this, like, finger. Yeah. But, so anyway, that's my haul, y'all. Ha! And, um, oh, I'm gonna open, maybe I'll open the Ramu, the Ramun in a different video, since this one is kind of long. And, uh, yeah, I will, uh, talk to you guys. Sorry, weird first one. I will talk to you guys later. And, of course, thank you for always liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Bye, guys. Love you. All right, guys. So, I'm going to show you how to open this lovely Ramon. Uh, first of all, you got to take that stupid piece off. And then you take this. But, okay. Here's the part where I know the likes of Charles Trippy and Danny Duncan have forgotten. You need this piece. In fact, you need this piece. The outer circle can go away. So, usually just kind of pop it out like so but yeah you need this plunger part this piece is critical this piece is trash so you put the plunger on the drink like so you put your hand on the bottle like so and you press like so and then you watch that cool stuff happen Check it out. I was almost too close. You can't see it, but there's the ball right there. Isn't that cool. So yeah, that is how you open a Ramon. And the other key thing, ow, and you'll get a mark on your hand like that. Oh wait, no. Is this dent right here in the bottle? No, this dent right here in the bottle is not for you to grip. It is to hold that marble there. So you, when you drink it. You have the dent facing you, so it holds the marble in place. So then you drink it like this.
So the marble does not get in your way. Because if you drink it like this, you get the backsplash because the marble was in the way. So anyway, glad you guys got to see that too.